Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on velocity time graphs. This is the third video on this topic. So if you've not seen the first two, then I recommend you watch those first, particularly the first one, uh, because in that one we break down the key concepts. Uh, but in this one, we'll be looking at a couple more skills, the first of which is finding the average of curved graphs. So specifically, we're looking at the average acceleration here, or the average gradient of the graph. Uh, so the example says, a speed time graph of the first four seconds of someone running a race is shown. Calculate the average ac acceleration over the four seconds. Now to do that, all we do is we draw a straight line using a ruler between the start and the end points of the line, like so. And so all we've done there is we've basically averaged that curved line and made it a straight line. Now all we do is we find the gradient of the straight line that we've drawn, uh, because the gradient is the acceleration. Uh, so if we find this gradient, it will give us the uh, average acceleration. Uh, so the gradient is the height divided by the width. So the height is 6 meters per second. Uh, so we can say that acceleration is 6 meters per second uh, divided by a time span of 4 seconds. So 6 divided by 4 is 3 over 2 or 1.5 and then it's meters per second squared or meters per second to the minus 2. Depends how you want to write your units. You could also write them like this. So moving on then, the last skill that we'll see is calculating the instantaneous gradient of a curve. Uh, so the instantaneous gradient is just the gradient at any particular instant. Uh, so uh, the example, which is the same as the one before, is a speed time graph of the first four seconds of someone running a race is shown. Calculate the instantaneous acceleration two seconds in. Uh, so to work this out, first of all, we go to two seconds and draw a straight line up like so. Uh, now we need to draw a tangent to the graph. Uh, at this particular point. So a tangent is a line which just touches the graph at this one point here, two seconds in, and has the same gradient as the graph at that point. Uh, so when you draw the tangent to the graph, uh, the idea is to make it as big as possible, uh, because that means that when you calculate the gradient of the tangent to get the acceleration, uh, your result will be as accurate as possible. So when you draw your tangent, just obviously make sure you use a ruler. Uh, but now I'm going to connect the tangent up to form a right angle triangle. Uh, so just try and be as neat as you can when you do this. Uh, so it should look something like this. And uh, now we'll get the acceleration by dividing the speed by the time. Uh, so acceleration is speed divided by time. So that's the gradient as we've mentioned before. Uh, so uh, looking at this graph, uh, let's look at the time first, seeing as that that's easier to calculate uh, because we're going from a timestamp of zero to a timestamp of four. Uh, so in that time, there's obviously four seconds, uh, so the time is four seconds. Uh, now if we look at the speed, it's slightly more tricky to work out, uh, but here at the start of the triangle, uh, we've got a speed of about 2.2 meters per second, and then going up to the top, if I draw a straight line across, uh, we've got a time, uh, sorry, a speed of roughly 6.2. Uh, so the speed is going to be 6.2 minus 2.2 which is just four. Uh, so there, four, nice and easy to calculate then. The acceleration is just speed, which is four, divided by four, uh, or one meter per second uh, squared. So uh, there would be some margin for error in this question if it was an exam question, uh, depending on how you draw the tangent, uh, but you should end up with a value of roughly one. So anything between 0 0.9 to 1.1 would probably be an acceptable answer if this was in an exam. If you want to get some practice with some velocity time graph questions, then why not practice our online exam? Uh, you can get there through our revision platform and uh, there's loads of different questions to have a go at here. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every one of them, uh, which will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. It will take you straight there.